So here we are in AutoCAD 2021, currently the latest version of AutoCAD by Autodesk. And what I'm going to show you is how to create a really simple title block using some AutoCAD attributes and then converting it into an actual block that you can drop into your layout tabs at any time. So you can see at the moment that we've got the outline of the title block in the model space. I draw it all full size in the model space first. I'm using a metric title block, the ISO A1 size, which is 841 millimeters by 594 millimeters. So you've got 841 this way, 594 this way. And you can see there that I've created a rectangle, which in essence replicates the edges of the sheet of paper. Everything at the moment is being drawn on layer zero. You'll see why in a moment. We do have another layer in the drawing though, called title block, but I'll cover that later. So what we've got is a rectangle. I've offset that, exploded, created a few lines here and there. I've created a text style, as you can see there, for ISO A1 title block, and also Sean Bryant, my name there. Let's zoom in on that bottom right corner. There's more text and things there. So these are just pieces of text. And what I've done, utilizing the diagonal and the midpoint on the diagonal and using the middle center justification, I've managed to center all these bits of text here, like so. I've done the same in this column, but these are my AutoCAD attributes. So these are all attributes that will go into an AutoCAD block that we create later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new attribute that's going to go here for Rev1. So let's make sure that our object snaps are on for this so that we can snap to that midpoint there. I'm going to go to the Insert tab now, and I'm going to click on Define Attributes in the Block Definition panel. And I'm just going to drag this over here so that we can see what we're doing. So this tag will be revision one. So we'll type that in, revision one. Every tag has to have a name like that with no spaces. The prompt will be revision one. So that's what you'll see in the dialog box when it's prompting you for the value for that attribute. And the default there is we'll call it preliminary, like so. Now you can change that default at any time in the attribute settings in the block later. Justification though, I'll change to middle center. I'm using my text style title layout details, which I created earlier. I'm gonna click on okay, and there's my revision one. There's the midpoint snap on the diagonal. Because I've middle centered on the justification, it drops in nice and neatly like that. So I'm just going to delete these now, like so because you know how to create them at any time. And don't forget, you can snap to these once it's a block as well. You can also create new lines if you need to and then delete them later. It just makes things look a bit neater and tidier. I'm a bit OCD like that, so there we go. I'll just double click on the wheel of the mouse now to zoom extents and roll back one notch on the wheel so that we can see everything we've done so far. So everything's in place like so. It's all ready to go. So what we're going to do now is go back to the Home tab on the ribbon, and we're going to make sure that we create a block of this. So we go over to the Block panel on the Home tab on the ribbon, and we've got Insert, but here we've got Create. So I click on Create, there's the Block Definition dialog box, like so. So I'm going to call this ISO A1 and then Landscape, because it's in a landscape orientation. You might create a portrait one and rotate it round, tweak it slightly differently. So we're going to pick the base point. So pick point there, that's going to be the bottom left corner. Select objects, use a crossing selection, just select everything, enter to confirm, and that will then show you that you've got 29 objects selected. There's our little preview there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the convert to block option or the delete option. You don't want to retain the original objects. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use delete. Now, that doesn't mean to say that you delete the block. The block stays in the drawing. In the DWG file, it just deletes the original objects. Do we want this to be annotative? No, it's a title block. Do we want it to scale uniformly, though? Yes, we do in both the X and Y directions. And always allow exploding. That way, you can explode the block, tweak it slightly, and perhaps create a slightly different ISO A1 landscape title block that has perhaps a logo on it or something different. Now, don't forget, you can add logos at any time. All you've got to do is place it in here and use the attach command in AutoCAD. 
you can just drop a graphic in like a JPEG or a PNG or a BMP file. Block unit in this case is millimeters. I don't need to open it in the block editor and I click on OK. Bang, it's all gone. Now, don't worry that it's gone. It hasn't gone anywhere, it's in the drawing. But the trick here is just to make sure that you save your drawing, like so, save it. Then it's saved in the DWG file. So now we need to start thinking about where that's going to go in our layout tab. So let's go to layout one, like so. Now we've got the default viewport there, select that, that can be deleted, we don't need that. And then it's a right click on the layout one tab and we're going to rename it because obviously layout one is a little bit misleading. So this will be our ISO A1 landscape. Now I'm naming it the same as the block. You don't have to do that. It might be something like your general arrangement or I don't know, first floor, second floor. It could be anything, details, whatever. I'm just gonna press enter there. I don't need layout two. So it's a right click there and I'm just going to delete that. You'll get the usual prompt. Obviously you can't delete the model tab, so I'll okay that. Now, we need to make sure that this is all the right size and placed correctly. Now, before we place anything, make sure now that you are on your title block layer because you want your title block to be on your title block layer. It's a right click now on the ISO A1 landscape layout tab and we're going to go to page setup manager. Now, at the moment, our current layout is the ISO A1 landscape tab and it's using the default settings, which are 210 by 297 landscape, which means it's an A4 sheet size. We need to change that by applying a page setup. So we click on new. We'll call this again ISO A1 landscape. And you need to specify what it's going to plot to. So I'm going to say PDF. It's gonna to go to a PDF, this particular page setup. So I click on OK. It takes me into what looks like a plot dialog box. Now, we're going to set the printer plotter here. We want that to be an AutoCAD PDF. So let's just go for general documentation. The ISO size we need to change. Obviously, it's not an A4. We want an ISO A1 841 by 594. That way around. So it's the same as our title block. You can check the PDF options and change the DPI and so on. Don't worry about that at the moment, but you can if you need to. We're going to plot to extents and we're going to center the plot like so. So it all looks a bit weird in the preview in the middle. Don't panic about that. And we'll just set it to the usual ACAD color table as well, like so. It's landscape here. Always do a quick sanity check there. And make sure your scale is one to one. Your title block is A1. Your sheet size is A1. Click on OK, like so. So there's our new page setup. Select it, double click on it, it applies it to your ISO A1 landscape layout tab. So we're all good to go at the moment. Click on close. We now go up to insert again and we go to insert here and there's our ISO A1 landscape block. You can go into recent blocks and go into the blocks palette if you wish. There it is there. We don't need to worry about that though because it's the only block in the drawing right now. So insert ISO A1 landscape. There it is there. Can you see it's all ready to go, but it's on that title block layer. That's because we created the original block using layer zero. Now, my insertion point for this will be zero comma zero because the lower left corner should go to zero zero in the layout tab. Press enter. And then you'll get prompted for the attributes that we set up earlier. So there's preliminary, a date, approved by, checked by, drawn by. I'm gonna leave all of that as it is. I can edit that later. So that all goes in and it looks a bit weird and wonderful. Why is it not on the sheet? This happens sometimes with page setups, blocks, etc. So what we do is we go back here, right click, page setup manager. We select our ISO A1 landscape PDF and modify like so. And what we do is we uncenter and center preview and you'll see it all looks fine this time. Right click, exit your preview, click on OK and it's now telling you that, would you like to update all the layouts that reference this page setup with the edits you've just made? Yes, please. Click on close and everything sits nicely on the sheet. So the white sheet is in essence your piece of paper. The orange title block is your AutoCAD title block. Now the lovely thing about that is it's a block, so I can just hover over it, it's all one object, double click on it, enhanced attribute editor kicks in, and there's all of my attributes so that I can edit any of those 
whenever I need to in the title block itself. So if I make a change there, let's say that it was checked by Bert instead of SCB, my initials. So let's say Bert checked that. I'll apply that. I'll OK it. When I zoom in here now, you can see that particular attribute there, Bert, has updated like so. So I'll just double click on the wheel to zoom extents. I can now start applying things like scaled viewports if I want to, ready in preparation to obviously communicate my design intent from the model space into my new layout tab that has an ISO A1 title block.